What's going on everyone? This is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 6. Last time guys, we built this amazing wither powered tree farm and I mentioned to you guys that I was struggling a little bit with this double piston extender here. And you guys, as usual, came through to me, through for me, I should say, like crazy. You guys are so awesome. I got tons and tons of replies, designs that you guys came up with, links to videos, all sorts of good stuff. And that was just great, guys. So I just want to say, before we get started today, thank you so much for that. I was able to find one, uh, well, more than one that would work. So I did pick one. And we'll probably get back to doing that a little bit later. But there's something else I want to do. Um, yeah, I want to go back to my base and I'm going to check on something because I left I left a little friend at my base a while back and I'm kind of curious if he's still there. All right, just came through the portal to my base and it looks like it is still here. You guys remember, uh, was it last episode or the episode before? I got chased into my base by this phantom and he is hanging out. He's just hanging out in the hallway here. And, yeah, it's kind of terrifying because I need to come through here quite often. Oh, jeez. And, uh, you know, and collect stuff from the system still because this is all still manual because I've been too lazy to hook it up to automated sorters and stuff. But, um, yeah, every time I come through here to either go in here, check on the kelp farm, I get attacked by this guy. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just... No, I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. We're going to keep him. We're going to keep him. Uh, but I need to capture him somehow. I can't be getting chased by him every time. Um, yeah, we're having some lag on the server. Yeah, a few people on. Definitely some lag. Uh, let's see here. How can we get this guy. I need some rails, I think. I might actually keep that in my redstone box. And yep, okay. And we're gonna need a mine cart. I'm gonna try to get him in a mine cart. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But uh, let's see, was there a mine cart in here? Yeah, there's one, good. And what else? Uh, maybe just a few blocks. I think I'm gonna put this up in the air. I hope this works. I've never tried to capture a phantom before. I know Doc's getting pretty good at it. Maybe I should ask him for help, but let's see. If we go up a bit, right, because he's going to want to swoop down. Oh, let's go maybe just here. Oh, geez, he's already coming towards me, isn't he? He's already... Yeah, you missed. Oh, if I was... The lag might help the situation here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, uh, we'll get the cart on there. Yeah, he is flying so slowly that uh, pff, this might be easy peasy. Who knows? All right, let's get up here. Where'd he go? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Come on down. Come on down any day. That is some serious lag. Did you see how slow he was moving? Okay. Let's let's move the mine cart like around like that because uh, it needs to be. Wait. What am I doing? Are you are you in? You're not in. Come on, guy. Oh, this is some bad lag. There we we got him. We got him. No, 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 doggy. Oh, jeez. No, 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 dog. No, no. Sit. Where'd he go? Go, dog, go. Get away. He's fine. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to. <laughs> good, good, you know, trying to protect me, guy, but I don't want you killing him. Oh, that was close. All right, we need to figure out how we can heal him up now because uh, he took a little bit of damage there, and I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. So, yeah, maybe will a splash potion of healing help? Hmm, I don't know. All right, I got some science to do, and we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm really glad I checked that out because if I was to throw healing potion on him, I think he would have died because he's considered an undead mob. And yeah, I actually need to do the reverse. So we've got a splash potion of harming instant damage two here. And I'm going to throw that on him. And that should make him feel a lot better. Wait, if I can throw it. Oh, man. Yeah, the server's really hating it. I think I'm going to hit myself here. Um... I'm right clicking. Oh, there we go. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. So that should be all good now. He should be better. Okay. So next I want to do a little bit of here. We better go over one. I want to do some science here. It used to be at least for a little while that mobs could control the mine carts that they were in. Um, and I want to see if they took that out of the game or not. You guys probably already know, but let's see if we were to make a track 
that was long here, and these are not powered rails, so he should be able to kind of move freely if he wants once he's on here. Jeez, you're so loud, guy. You're so loud. Uh, let's see. Let's just break him, and then can we push him? Ow! Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the pushing part's going to work. Uh, let's see. Seriously, I can't just nudge him? I can't nudge the cart? Okay, there we nudge the cart. That, that, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now he's on the track. Now the question is, if he's tracking me, will he move on his own? You can see the cart is kind of moving, but maybe that's from my initial nudge. Like, you are after me, right? Yeah, if I go this way, he turns towards me. Hey, buddy. Now, can you control the cart to come back this way? No, I don't think so. I think... They took that back out of the game. Okay. Because uh, what I was hoping to do is actually, like, hide this guy, maybe play a prank on some people, and then have it so he would, like, track them through the floor and then just kind of, you know, get louder and louder as he approaches them. But uh, it doesn't I don't think that's going to work. So, yeah, okay. I'm going to stash him for a little bit. And, again, you guys, let's, you guys do what you do. Be helpful as usual. And I'm going to give this to you guys to come up with something we can do with this phantom and maybe prank some other hermit. So throw down your best prank ideas in the comments right now. What can we do with this phantom to freak the other hermits out or play some sort of prank on them? Yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. All right, so I want to quickly drop by GoldenEye here and see if we have yet to get any sales. So let's take a look here. Oh, finally. Awesome. Okay. Let's see if we've got any more. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody came in and bought the whole place out, didn't they? Oh, my gosh. I wonder who did this. Or maybe it was spread throughout the Hermits. Who knows? But, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take all these diamonds for sure. Okay. All right. So, maybe you guys were right. <laughs> maybe we should have done eight gold blocks for one diamond. Well, supply and demand, guys. Because, um, right now, I'm out of gold. Yeah, I'm out of gold now. I need to go back up to the gold farm and AFK to get some more. But you guys also had another idea besides this being way too cheap. So, yeah, let's just take this down right now. Let's take this down. You guys had the idea. We got two rows of chests here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> I was like backing up. It. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You scared me. Oh, man. I was like, what am I backing into? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's here. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna start selling. Oh, okay. Someone bought it all. Getting hmm ready to. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm not. I don't have gold yet. We'll have to restock soon. Sorry, man. See, I'm missing business. Um. Hmm. Tomorrow? Yeah. Because I'm going to have to AFK tonight. <laughs> bought out. Yeah. Also, also, Ilu is bought out as well. I know. I can't keep up. Business is insane. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah. He also mentioned that Ilu is um, sold out again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And and I haven't even checked on iTrade because we do that every episode. But um, I can't imagine that that's sold out as well. But holy smokes, guys. We are making so much. We're making so much. That was hilarious that he scared me so bad. Anyway. All right. So back to what I was saying is you guys had a great idea that, uh, that maybe we should sell some of these things. Golden carrots. And I think you guys are very smart. <laughs> very smart. Um, so I want to do that. Let's do... So this row of chests basically can be golden carrots. And we'll do that. We'll put it right there. And then over here, we'll do the gold blocks. And I've already decided to change my, my price here. One diamond for eight blocks. Okay. 
All right. So sorry, Isco, you're going to miss out on the better deal uh, when you do come back. But now uh, we let's see. Did I I got a whole bunch of these prepared so we can take these. And I guess there's I mean, there's always been a debate on about whether or not golden carrots were the best uh, food source in the game. Um, I've heard it both ways between steak and golden carrots, which one's better. Uh, it's something about which one gives you more saturation or something. I don't know. You guys can, you guys can hopefully settle that debate once and for all. But, uh, anyway, golden carrots are pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, and for one diamond for a whole stack of them, I mean, that's going to feed you for a while, right? Like, I think, I mean, I think you, any general player can get through, like one stack a week, basically. I think I've been working on the same stack of steak for about a week now of gameplay. So anyway, uh, hopefully it's a good deal. We'll see. Hopefully I'm not making the same mistake I made with the blocks and making them too cheap. I'm sure you guys will let me know on that one there. But yeah, at least we have gold carrots now. But yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot more AFKing at the gold farm. Uh, and the reason I haven't been doing that lately is because there's actually a bit of an issue that I need to solve with the gold farm that uh, I need to address. But first, let's go over here and uh, we'll collect our... I, I just realized I broke this. I This was missing some crafting tables. Uh, people would come over here, they wouldn't be able to, you know, they didn't have a diamond block, they'd, they'd go to make their diamond block and they'd be like, looking for crafting tables, which is one over there, but still, it's inconvenient. So I put in a crafting table there, but in doing so, I think I kind of broke something here because, yeah, the crafting table's right above this chest, and now I can't open the chest. So I'm going to have to get another hopper, drop the chest down, I think. But let's do this. Let's just do this for now. We'll grab those nine diamond blocks out of there that we earned from selling those loot boxes, and guess what? <laughs> I'm going to have to restock, and uh, between you and me, guys, I might not be so nice with the next batch of loot boxes. I've, the last, I think the last couple times we filled this up, I've been losing diamonds, and that was on purpose. That was on purpose. I know you guys were like, what are you doing, man? You're losing diamonds. Um, I wanted to get them hooked. I wanted to get the hermits hooked on iLoot, and I think I've succeeded because it sells out rather quickly. So, yeah, um, but don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't be telling them that I loot boxes are garbage this time. <laughs> there'll, there'll still be a chance to win something good. Don't worry. But anyway, I'm going to head back to the gold farm because I want to show you some issues that I've been having with the design. And we'll see if we can fix those today. All right, here we are at the gold farm. I got my volume turned down, of course, because uh, these guys are going absolutely crazy. But you can kind of see already what the issue is. You can see here we've got chicken jockeys now back in the game, which is great. Good to see the chicken jockeys back. However, uh, they are a bit of a trouble. <laughs> They're troublesome for this design. They just get stuck there. Uh, the baby, as you can see, he kind of did hang out just a little bit and finally made his way in. Let's see if there's another baby around here that can demonstrate the same thing. Uh, but the little guy's not riding chickens. They'll come over here and they try to look in for a little bit and then they're like, oh yeah, we'll just go up here. Um, this is another issue too. You can see these guys are kind of shoulder to shoulder. Eventually one of them will win this battle, but it does slow the spawns down just a little bit. Uh, and so we need to get anvils in here and I just don't have the iron for it. So if we put in anvils, that would definitely make some more room to where they could come walking in shoulder by sh uh, shoulder to shoulder, and that will help that. But the main reason I don't AFK here uh, for very long is because eventually these chickens, these chicken jockeys, will um, there'll be enough of them that it will actually take up the mob cap. So let's see here. We can watch all these little guys. This chicken jockey is actually kind of in the way, I think, and preventing these dudes from from making their way up, uh, but I think they will eventually figure it out. Yeah, I think we'd be better off. There we go. One weird, one found his way in. Um, but yeah, I think we could be better off if we can get rid of these chicken jockeys. So there we go. Uh, I have a plan, guys. I have a plan. Chickens don't like to walk across magma blocks. So I'm going to try to put some magma blocks around and hopefully that'll just kind of like burn the chicken and then the kid will drop off and then the kid can make its way in. And that should hopefully solve the problem. Look at this. Look at this. There's like actually a few in there. One, two. Okay. Well, three already. And I only been here for like a minute or two. So you can see how quickly. Look, three in this. Well, that was the little kid. <laughs> Don't worry, no, no, no little kids were hurt in the making of this farm. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's see. So yeah, when I AFK, this is how I've been having to solve it, is basically just kill those chicken jockeys every once in a while. But that's not that's not a good solution if I want to let myself be here overnight to get all the gold. So yeah, let's see if these magma blocks will actually fix this. All right, there we go. Got this ring of magma cubes, as you can see now, installed. And let's see if that does indeed fix our problem. Let's see, we gotta find a guy that we can shoot without shooting those back guys. How about you? There we go, good. Sometimes the one shot will kill the guy and then they don't get angry. Uh, but let's see here. Any chickens coming yet? Again, got the volume turned way down because these guys are so loud. Oh, look at how slow they're moving. We're getting some server lag again. Uh, but they're coming in here. Any chickens? We're going to have to see the chickens like as they spawn, I think, in order to know if this is working. And I'm wondering, are the spawn rates seem a little slow. We may have some people in the nether. Uh, let's see, maybe not. Seems okay. Uh, come on, let's get a chicken jockey to prove that we fixed it, or at least hopefully we did. Um, any? Any? <laughs> All right, well, I'll just keep watching here until I see one. Oh, I see a chicken jockey coming. All right, here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's see if it will indeed get burned by the magma. And I don't even know where it went. <laughs> it's behind this pillar. Maybe it already burned the chicken up. I have no idea where when I I know for sure I saw one and maybe they're they've been spawning this whole time and I just been missing them because it happens quick I don't know uh, let's see oh there he is okay um where's he going though oh is it avoiding the magma is the chicken jockey smart enough to know that it can't go on magma so now he's just kind of running around in circles you see him out there just kind of running around in circles and when I move around, he tracks me a little differently. Oh no, but he is not coming through. He is not fooled by the magma. Interesting. Now I wonder if he'll work his way in. I mean, we got a bit of a hold up back here. Uh, oh, I bet you. If I take out the magma blocks that are in his pathway, uh, because there's one behind there, there's one behind there, and there, and there, that it will then just make its way in because it's trying to stay away from the magma blocks. Okay. All right, let's let's do that. Let's see, let's see if that will work. <laughs> okay, test number two. I have took out three, actually, and I'm hoping that was a good idea because if I just took out one, everything would have to pathfinder the one block, so I didn't want to slow it down, but we'll see if that causes more problems than it was worth, and we'll get them going again, and I'll wait for some chicken jockeys. We'll see what happens here. All right, I see a chicken jockey coming at me now. Let's see what it does. It should try to avoid. Okay, there it goes. Nice. Okay, great. Right into the killing chamber. And uh, we could, I guess, potentially save chicken and feathers down there as well. They're probably going to, yeah, we could collect those. Hmm, interesting. I never thought of that. But, yeah, it looks like these magma blocks here have also solved a problem with even the babies as well because we're not getting any babies even stuck in here for a moment. They're all just going right into the killing chamber now. So that seems like a viable fix. Of course, this is going to need to be stress tested, uh, which is exactly what I plan on doing after this episode's over, as I'll probably keep myself AFK all night long and see if we can get some more gold. But for now, I'm going to leave here and we'll just assume we fixed it. Hopefully that, that stays true. I'll let you guys know next episode, of course. But I just got noticed from Cub that, uh, oh, I don't know why I'm climbing. I have an elytra. Uh, I got noticed from Cub that he left me a note in the post office, which I have not even seen the post office. So, oh, hello. Oh, did you guys see that? My magma blocks were still on the ground from when I took them out, and they despawned literally right when I landed. Oh, bummer. Oh, well, we lost some magma blocks. No biggie. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to go find the post office and see what Cub left me here. Ah, this must be it. Looks like we have a post office here for mail, and I just realized this is really the first time I've actually been over in the modern district there's a lot going on i think this is cubs place his starter place anyway uh that portal looks much better than the one in the shopping district yeah we definitely should spruce up the one in the shopping district and i think that's joe hill's i think i was actually supposed to go in there and do something i uh, might need to check that out as well and uh who else we got around here maybe uh, Wells, I think Wells did that one, if I remember, with the car. Is that Jevin's place, potentially? I don't know. You guys can let me know. But anyway, I came here specifically to see what was inside because Cub said he left something for me. So let's see. 
I think basically if you have a light that's on, you have mail. So let's see where mine would be. These look like they're in alphabetical order, so I would expect to be right there. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, wow. We got a few things. Okay. So we have iJevin's Sweet Treats now open. So this must be uh, just a little sample, I guess. <laughs> Who eats cookies in Minecraft? Anyway, um, Squid Ink now open. Oh, I had no idea this was like a place where people went to advertise their shops. So this was must be False's Ink Shop. And you've been jingled. No mail. Well, you're wrong. I got mail, but okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, and I got a feeling this is what Cub left me. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I like the sound of this already. Let's see, we have a VIP room pass. What is this for? Concorp Super Mega Ultra Deluxe VIP Room Season Pass. O okay, I have a season pass to a VIP room and I don't even know what it's for. Um, is this to get into the Guardian Farm? Concorp. Is this uh, to get into the Guardian Farm? Or what is this for, guys? You have to let me know. I think Cub said that... Uh, <laughs> this guy's creeping me out. Cub said that the reason why he was giving me this is because he took a bunch of gold from the gold farm, like, literally minutes before I opened the gold shop. So he felt kind of bad about it, I think. Uh, but anyway, you guys, let me know. What does this pass do for me? What is it going to get me? <laughs> I'm excited. Awesome. All right. So next stop, I want to go back to the tree farm, and let's see if we can fix our previous issue uh, thanks to you guys' help. All right, so we are back here at the Wither Powered Tree Farm, and I have fixed my double piston extender because out of all the designs that were sent to me, um, I had to let Cass redeem himself. So the first time he sent me the double piston extender that I used last episode, he didn't know it was for a tree farm. So he went ahead and redid it, and you can see now there is wood here, and it's a whole different design. And let me just show you how it works now. Of course, if you put the wood down, you'd expect it to come out and come back, and you can see it's actually really, really fast. Such a really cool design. Let me go around back and just give you a glimpse of it. We won't get too crazy into the detail of the redstone, uh, but it uses this trick with activator rails, uh, triggering a signal up the side, and it's like moving redstone blocks, and observers are going off, and note blocks, and all sorts of craziness. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into the detail, because if I'm correct, because Sealdis is going to be doing a tutorial on this, I'm guessing. You're right, Castile this right? You're gonna do something? Oh, yeah, he will. Uh, so anyway, uh, he didn't stop there. He didn't just fix the piston, double piston extender problem. He actually got inspired to like recreate the whole tree farm and make it even better than the one I put together. Um, so I'm probably going to be switching to his design because it is super fast, super efficient, uses like uh, the, the least amount of bone mill possible and saves as many saplings as possible too. So it's a really cool design he showed me um, and he has yet to do a tutorial, but I'm guessing he will after uh, I show you guys the design. But we're not going to have time to do it today, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> time flew in this episode, believe it or not. I can't believe we are already out of time, but I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did, uh, and we will probably get back to uh, sprucing up. I always say that word. Uh, getting back to doing the tree farm next episode and showing off Cass's amazing uh, design. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.